News 25 is brought to you by Golden Casino Group, where you'll always find great fun, good food, and fantastic entertainment, all at Gold Town, Lakeside, and the Pahrump Nugget. News is also brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Home Depot helps host a veterans event and commissioners set a hearing to talk about the brothel codes. News 25 starts now. This is News 25 with Unette Gentry. News 25, local coverage you can count on. Massages, clothing, and lots of services were offered today to local veterans. It's Thursday, October 24th. I'm Yunette Gentry. Dozens of our nation's heroes were treated to a special veteran stand-down today in the parking lot of Home Depot. Linda Wright explains it all. Today is our veteran stand-down, and um, we have uh, different organizations out here in the Home Depot parking lot, and we've been here since 9 a.m., and we're just... Um, sharing different things with our veterans. We have the Elks, we have the VFW Riders, we have the Nye Communities Coalition, we have the Pahrump Prostate Support Group, we have some insurance companies, we have the Vet Center from Las Vegas, we have a veteran service officer here to give, to do benefits for our veterans if they haven't started them. Um, and Home Depot is providing, is uh, barbecuing for us today, hamburgers and hot dogs. The Pahrump Elks got a grant from the Elks and they went and purchased clothing for our veterans this year. The DAV has blankets and uh, boots mm -hmm. and um, we also have Lee's Funeral Home out here for anybody that needs their services. We also have the Military Honor Guard out here that um, does military honors for funerals that we have never had in the past. So we got a few different organizations out this year and uh, it's, it's just great. We are already scheduled for next year. It'll be October 15th next year and it goes from nine to two. And we have two major sponsors of this event and that's Home Depot. They give us the parking lot to, to hold the event and Joe's Sanitation. Um, brings us the porta potties yeah. and so are, there are may, uh, big sponsors of this event. And Nye County is moving forward with trying to recover money that was spent on emergency services to try to prepare for the Storm Area 51 Alien Stock Festival in Lincoln County. At the recent Board of County Commissioners meeting, discussion was had regarding the approval of a letter requesting financial relief from the State of Nevada Department of Public Safety for financial damages incurred by Nye County during the Storm Area 51 event. The letter serves as Nye County's written notice of intent to request funding from the State Disaster Relief Account, specifically for the financial damages that occurred during the Area 51 event. Chairman, I'd like to make a, I'd like to make a, a motion to approve the letter requesting financial relief. Second. Motion and a second to approve sending a letter requesting financial damages. Further discussion? Public comment? All those in favor say aye. 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 Unanimous. Chairman, <clears throat> yeah. I know we're on a roll here, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to take a break. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? I know we were on a roll. I just want to say... Uh, I, for all the things that happened with the Storm Area 51, it was a great collaborative effort, and I think it opened the door for Chief Lewis and uh, Sheriff Worley to, to bridge and get some gaps and have a lot of the, the, the rural counties communicating and, and working together on the same. I thing, agree. So. It cost us a lot of money, but there are some good things that came out of it. That's right. I can't justify all the money, but I can justify a lot of it. And I've sent letters to everybody that was involved from the state, the federal level, People from the local level, anyone that was involved in that should have gotten a letter from me thanking them for their efforts. So, hey, Chairman, I want to say thank you to you because I know you sat there and... Um, You're here. Yeah, thank you. For, for that all being said, thank you. That I don't know here. that everybody understands that, but he sat there just in case... He cooked he in an RV trailer. <laughs> yeah, he was just right there for the whole thing. Thank you, Chairman. Three and a half days worth. Did you see any aliens? Uh, no. 
I was going to buy one of those suits. And teacher strikes and other business news that, that might affect your wallet when we return. This segment of the news is brought to you by Pahrump Cardiology, located at 1397 South Loop Road in Pahrump, Nevada. Call 775-210-8333 for an appointment. Dr. Talee Eric, proudly serving Pahrump since 2005. Welcome back to News 25. Well, the protest continues for Chicago area teachers. Angela Miles has that and more. Here's Angela Miles with today's Business First Brief. Topping our news, Chicago teachers are getting some concessions from the city. On Wednesday, the striking teachers took their protest through Chicago's financial district on the way to a showdown with the mayor at City Hall. Caterpillar is giving off an economic warning sign. The big equipment manufacturer is viewed as a bellwether for the global economy. Cat reported a 6% drop in sales and an 8% drop in profit. The trade war is said to be hurting demand for Caterpillar equipment. Boeing is cutting production of its Dreamliner and it's tied to China trade negotiations. Boeing turned in a large miss on earnings, but still expects the grounded 737 MAX will fly again this year. The MAX crisis has cost the company an estimated $8 billion. To find out where you can see us every day, go to businessfirstam.com. Thanks, Angela. And turning back to local news, Ski Sinski is at it again. The Madman of Auctions is inviting everyone to this weekend's sale on Margaret Street. This segment is brought to you by Estates 411. Once again, we have another exciting auction planned for this weekend. The auction will be Saturday, the 26th of October at 10 o'clock. We have a preview, a live preview, Friday the 25th from 9 in the morning till 5. The auction is located at 860 Margaret Street. It's the street just past the hospital. You turn off at 372 in the auction locations on the left. You can't miss it. We have a bunch of uh, equipment and items like that from the late Ralph McKnight estate along with some collectibles from the Carl Copas estate. As you can see, there's several ways in Pahrump that you can get high, and I decided this is the way I'm going to get high today. I'm sitting on one of the backhoes that we'll have in the sale. We have a very nice backhoe. We have a Heister forklift. We have a warehouse forklift, a lot of building supplies, fencing, construction equipment, steel beams, trailers, storage containers, and a whole bunch of really, really neat collectibles. The uh, collectibles are a lot of Disney plates, a lot of Disney characters, a lot of comic books, sports cards, and it should make for a really, really good auction. The, uh, once again, the auction is Saturday. It starts at 10 o'clock. It'll be live only. There will be no internet bidding, which is going to make a lot of people happy because I've had a lot of people ask me about when we're going to go back to the old school. Well, we'll do it whenever we can, and this is a good example of when we're able to do that. Preview will be Friday all day from 9 in the morning till 5 in the afternoon. And uh, I would honestly say there's certainly something for everyone at this sale. From the equipment, the trailers, the collectibles, a lot of really, really neat stuff. And we look forward to folks coming by and paying a visit to us. The big concern I have right now is, uh, is Ron going to be available to let me down from this backhoe? If not... I guess I could jump, but that certainly would make a different form of news, and uh, it would probably have to do with the helicopter arriving anyway, so I won't do that. Once again, folks, we appreciate your business. We appreciate the support that Deanna and Channel 25 gives the community. A lot of activities. Don't forget Sunday is the uh, Rotary Club drawing and Beatty Days, so if you get a chance, try to spread yourself out and enjoy all that Nye County has to offer this exciting weekend. Once again, thank you to Deanna and her crew, and we appreciate your business. Thank you. Ski, that ride doesn't look as comfortable as that rhino you were on. And stay tuned, we'll be right back with the latest legislation connected to brothels. You're watching KPVM News 25, local coverage you can count on. 
Welcome back. Well, the Board of County Commissioners sets a public hearing discussing brothels. The Board of County Commissioners has set a public hearing scheduled for 10 a.m. on December 17th concerning the Nye County Code Title IX, which regulates the brothel industry. One of the items that was a proposed change, which was a six-hour leave rule, brought controversy. That rule has since been rescinded to be a 24-hour rule. This rule addresses prostitutes who would leave the facility for six hours within a 10-day period. Upon their return, they would have to resubmit a medical examination. This has now been reverted back to the original 24-hour rule, meaning that if the prostitute leaves the facility for more than 24 hours, then they will have to resubmit a medical examination before returning to work. There are several other housekeeping changes to this code, including making sure that the Nye County Sheriff's Office is named as the overseeing entity. There was also a new section written to address exceptions to the non-transfer license regulation, which now says that a person can transfer a license to a brothel to another individual after submitting a $5,000 refundable transfer investigation fee to the board. That, however, doesn't guarantee the approval of the new license holder. That is for the Nye County Sheriff's Office background investigation that must be conducted by any key employees or entities who may manage or own the brothels. Some of the new language addressed in the new holders of license transfers have to do with in the event of a death. This seems to be a direct result of former brothel owner Dennis Hoff, who died in 2018. If you would like to find out more about the title changes, you can go on the web to nycounty.net and search for the agenda item to click on the backup links. All right, Mr. Chair, I'll make a motion to set the date and time location of uh, for the public hearing. December 17th, 2019, 10 a.m. in Pahrump. Second. I have a motion and a second to set the date for December 17th, 2019, in Pahrump at 10 o'clock. Further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 In other local news, Elvis is leaving the building, at least the one in Pahrump. That's because a regular around town who's been performing for years and decades as Elvis is unfortunately saying goodbye. News 25 caught up with Johnny V, who's been performing as Elvis for a long time. But Johnny is now moving back to his hometown. I'm getting older now. I've been doing the Elvis thing for almost 30 years now. Mm -hmm. And um, all my friends and relatives are back there in New York. Mm -hmm. and. Um, I'm going to Grand Island, which is right next to Niagara Falls. Mm -hmm. And there's water and green trees. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, actually, I, I kind of miss being back home. I've been in the desert long enough. And, yeah. But I love Pahrump, and I love the people here. And I can't believe how many friends I've made, mm -hmm. uh, acquaintances, friends. Um, people come up to me that I don't even know. And, but they know everything about me, it seems yeah. like. And, and um, it's just been a wonderful experience the whole time. And, but I, I'm, most, I'm, I'm a Christian, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm about Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and being my personal Savior. And I think that's the most important thing. And yes, I love that Elvis thing has started out as a hobby, but all of a sudden people are hiring me left and right and mm -hmm. started out at Harris and uh, made appearances at the Mirage and Riviera and all those places. Yeah. And uh, I even went to Japan and okay. Texas and Canada and I've been pretty much all over. I started when I was 42 mm -hmm. and uh, I was in a bar one time and doing karaoke. Mm -hmm. First time I ever sang in mm -hmm. public. Mm -hmm. And I sang My Way by Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. And um, I did terrible. Mm -hmm. But then the host told me to do an Elvis song. And I sang Teddy Bear. And the people just went nuts in there. And yeah. People wanted to hire me yeah. right away to do it. And, and uh, I had never, never sung before, except in the shower. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, all my, uh, I was brought up in five different foster homes, and they all told me, don't sing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was a very discouraging childhood, but yeah. I got over that. Are you going to perform at this um, going away party, and when is it? I'm not going to perform there, but um, it's at my church. Yeah. 1230 Sunday, Heritage Bible Church. Uh -huh. Just before you get to Lakeside Casino, it's uh -huh. on the left side. 
yeah. if you're going south. Ah. I probably could sing a few songs. Ah. Uh, we're having the Harvest Festival October 26th mm -hmm. at our church yeah. on Saturday. Yeah. So I'd like to invite everybody to come up there. This is to support, support the kids, you mm -hmm. know, kind of like a Halloween event. Yeah. That would be from 11 o'clock to 3 o'clock. When are you leaving? Um, planning around the 1st of November. I'll know in another day if I get paid on my house. Yeah, yeah. So we're still waiting on that. All right. So it took a, it was quite a up and down hill. You yeah, know, yeah. Selling my house. <laughs> well, I'm going to miss BJ and the Tappers and mm -hmm. Scotty. Yeah. Um, and um, a lot of the organizations that I've dealt with, the very first show I did was at the VFW. There's going to be so many people that I won't be able to say goodbye to. Yeah. And, and I just want to let all of Pahrump know that I, I will miss everybody. Um, it's going to be hard on me. Yeah. As well as maybe some of the people that are here. Yeah. Um, a lot of love. Yeah, a lot of love. You know, and this town, what a difference between Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> so friendly, it's so open. It's a warm, loving community, yeah. and um, if I got to advertise for this town in New York, I will. <laughs> there you go. News 25 Weather Cam is brought to you by Learner and Row Injury Attorney's Office in Pahrump. In a wreck, need a check? Call 702-877-1500. All right, let's take a look outside at our current conditions through our Learner and Row weather cam. Look at that picturesque, beautiful blue sky. Not a cloud can be seen in that direction. And we'll take a closer look at what we can expect in our forecast right after this break. News 25 weather is brought to you by Dairy Council of Nevada. The splash of cream in your coffee, the dollop of sour cream on your burrito, the melted toasty cheese on your pizza. Undeniably delicious, undeniably daring. Enjoy what's real. Hello and welcome back to News 25. I'm Michael Donahue with today's weather. In Las Vegas, we had a high of 75 degrees with a low of 53. 90 with a low of 60 in Death Valley, 78-49 in Amargosa, Beatty at 77-43, Goldfield a high of 64, Tonopah a high of 63, both towns with a low of 31 degrees, Carson City at 67, their low at 29, 65 degrees in both Fallon and Fernley, 27 for the low in Fallon, and 30 degrees in Fernley for their low. Now today in Pahrump, we saw some mostly sunny skies, our high today was 77 degrees, Winds coming out of the west-northwest at 8 miles per hour, 8% for our humidity, and our sunrise at 6.59 this morning. Now for tonight, some mostly clear skies. Our low is going to be 49 degrees. It's currently 74 outside. Still with those 8 mile per hour winds, but this time out of the east-northeast. Our humidity at 15% and our sunrise at 5.56 tonight. Now looking ahead to our seven day, looks like we got rid of all those clouds mainly tonight. We're going to see some nice sunny skies from Friday all through next Thursday. However, this Sunday we do have a wind advisory. We're going to have some high winds up to 21 miles per hour expected out of the north northwest. Now looking at our temperatures on Friday, we're going to be seeing a high of 78 degrees up to 81 on Saturday. We're going to have a big drop off on Sunday with a high of 66 degrees down to 61 on Monday. And then we're just going to be chilling at 67 degrees on Tuesday and Wednesday back to 73 by next Thursday. Now for overnight temperatures on Friday and Saturday, we're going to be seeing lows of 50 degrees down to 40 degrees on Sunday, 37 on Monday and Tuesday, and then our lows at 42 and 45 degrees by next Wednesday and Thursday. So now with that, we're going to toss it back to the desk with Unette. Thanks, Michael. Well, we just want to remind you that Beatty Days is happening this weekend and lasts through Sunday. The parade will be traveling down Main Street at 10 a.m. Saturday. And KPVM TV is proud to be participating in this year's parade. There'll also be lots of entertainment, games, food, a car show, a chili cook-off, and lots more going on all weekend long. For more information about Beatty Days, go online. And I'd also like to say a very special thank you to Chris Butler for the beautiful card and the well wishes that you sent. I wanted to be sure to say thank you on air to you, Chris, and all of our KPVM viewers because we truly appreciate each and every one of you. Well, that does it for this edition of News 25. I'm Unette Gentry.
good night.